Uh, my name is Dave Mango. I run the SRE teams for uh, the SolarWinds cloud companies. Uh, Karthik uh, convinced me to write this talk this morning. So if you think it's good, blame Karthik. If you think it's bad, blame Karthik. What's my take home message for this whole talk? Blame Great, awesome. So um, this kind of comes from something that I uh, kind of dealt with recently, uh, where I was talking to people about why we're doing Agile. So we're doing DevOps, everyone does Agile, right? Sure, why not? Everyone does Agile, that's what we do. We do Agile because we do Agile, because it's Agile, and then we're Agile. That's really like, why are we doing this? So um, back in the bad old days, uh, there used to be these things called Gantt charts, right? And so the way that everything worked was, we were like, we're gonna develop this software, we're gonna release it, it's gonna take two years. Uh, after about 14 months, we're gonna hand it over to QA, and then QA is gonna spend like three months doing QA, and then they're gonna give it to somebody else, and then we're gonna give it to release engineering, and then it's gonna go out to production, and it's gonna be awesome. Anyone ever deliver anything on 14 months? Did anyone ever take three months to do QA? No. It was a disaster, right? You would give it to QA like six days before it was supposed to go out to production and be like, hey, why aren't you, why aren't you guys QA this? They're like, we wanted three months. You're like, you got six days? It's fine, no big deal, <laughs> right? So um, people were telling me, okay, well, uh, we're gonna do Agile now, everything is gonna be great, and the reason that we're doing Agile is because we wanna see what's happening during the course of development. Well, that's not why we do Agile. I can see what's happening during the course of development with a Gantt chart. I can stick a project manager on it and be like, hey, what's going on? Why don't you run around after every single person and ask them what they just did, and then you can put it in your chart, and then all the executives can look at it. So what did we do? Instead, we did stuff like Kanban or Scrum. And the purpose of doing this is to give visibility, right? That's what we want. We don't want someone to run around and babysit people and say, hey, what did you just do? What did you just do? It doesn't work. And once you make this work visible, you can start doing really, really interesting stuff. And the purpose of this isn't so that the executives can see what's going on. Uh, you can actually start measuring things because we're tracking what's going on inside of our tool, and this is actually why the developers or the engineers are uh, moving stuff through the pipeline inside of a tool so we can see this. And sorry, I wrote this talk this morning, so I'm waiting for the next slide to come up, but it's not coming up. So uh, if you really want to know more about this, uh, I highly recommend the book that's going to come up here, uh, which is Making Work Visible. There you go. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, by Dominica. Uh, and so one of the things she talks about in this book is the reason that we're doing uh, all this stuff isn't so that we can just make the work visible and the executives can see it, but we want to be able to predict when things are going to happen. That is why we do Agile. That's why we do Scrum. That's why we do Kanban. We want to be able to say, I'm going to deliver this thing at this time, and it's actually going to happen. So that like 14 months out garbage, like that's not real. But if I say like my lead time, which is the amount of time it takes from when work is entered into the system until it's actually delivered, or my cycle time, which is how long it takes from when work is actually started to when it's delivered, if I can measure those things, or if I have a scrum team, if I can measure the team velocity, then when somebody comes to me and says, when can you get this thing delivered? And I say, well, based on our lead time or based on our velocity, I think that the team can deliver this in six weeks. People can actually make plans on that. Now I can actually do real planning because I understand when stuff is gonna happen. And when someone says, how do you know that you're gonna be able to deliver this in six weeks? I'll say, Here's the chart in JIRA or whatever kind of tool you want to use, whatever. Here's the chart that shows you what my lead time is. Here's the chart that shows you what my cycle time is. Here's the chart that shows my average velocity. And I say average velocity because please don't get hung up if your velocity goes from 24 to 27 and back to 25. And oh my god, we have to have a retrospective to find out why. It, forget it. Like, that's ridiculous. Um, but if I can actually know like what my average velocity is, I can tell you when something's going to be delivered. That's the most powerful thing that we can do, and that's how we're actually agile, because we're looking at the time horizon that's really close to us, not 14 months out, and we're saying this is when stuff's going to happen, and that's why we're doing agile. Thanks. Woo!